Hello friends, this video is for those who are in beginning orchestra and who play the violin, the viola, or the cello. This week in music lessons, we learned how to hold our instruments as well as our first two notes, A and D. Our practice expectation is to practice at least four days every week. When you practice, you should log on to our Google Classroom, go down to Practice Routines, and click on our Home Practice Checklist. Our Home Practice Checklist tells you all the steps you need to follow every time you practice at home. Let's walk through that checklist together right now as we review the things we learned in our lesson. Step one on our practice checklist is to open up your case and get your instruments set up. If you play violin or viola, all you need to do is lift the instrument out of the case. We're not gonna use the bow, the long stick yet, or the other parts that you might find in your case. If you play the cello, we're also not gonna use the bow yet. We are just going to use the main instrument. When you play the violin or the viola, we're playing our instruments guitar style for these first few lessons. You'll notice that your instrument is made mostly of wood, except for these four metal strings. If you play violin and viola, we're holding our instrument guitar style. Guitar style is when you tuck the instrument into your elbow, just like this. That way you can use your thumb to pluck the notes that we learn. There's a correct way to do guitar style and an incorrect way to do guitar style. You'll know your guitar style is correct if you see this black teardrop shaped piece called the chin rest on top of your instrument. If my instrument is backwards, if I have it tucked under the wrong elbow, then you'll see my arm is covering that black chin rest and that piece is on the bottom half of my violin or viola instead of up on the top half. If you find that your arm is pressing into the chin rest and that it's on the bottom half, you need to turn your instrument over so that when you tuck it into your right elbow, that chin rest is on top and is not being pressed by your arm. Now you're in guitar style and you're ready to review our notes. If you play the violin, you'll notice that the string on the very bottom is very skinny. That's our smallest string. The two strings we're gonna focus on are A and D. On the violin, the A string is the second string from the bottom, right above that thin string. Your D string on violin is three strings up from the bottom. Let's count up, one, two, three. That's your D string. On violin, our A and D strings are the two strings in the middle. I can pluck my A string, which should sound a little bit higher, my second string. And I can also pluck my D string, the third string, which sounds lower. If you play the viola, your strings are in a little bit of a different position. You can still set up guitar style with the chin rest on the top half of your instrument, but when you go to pluck your A string on viola, your A string is the very first string on the bottom. Your D string then is the second string right above it. So if I'm on viola, I pluck my first string to pluck the A string, and I can pluck my second string to pluck D. If you play the cello, there's a little bit more that you have to do to set up your instrument. If I just pull the cello out of the case and rest it on the floor, it is too low for me, and it's probably too low for you. That's why the cello has what's called the end pin. 
The end pin is this long piece that sticks out of the bottom of the cello so that when we rest it on the floor, it lifts up the instrument to the right height. To open the end pin or pull out the end pin, you need to, to turn the screw loose one turn. So you need to loosen this screw one turn. Think left, loose, or lefty loosey. When you turn it to the left one turn, it will loosen the screw. Don't loosen it all the way so that it comes off, because that could be challenging to put back on. Once your screw is loose, you pull or wiggle the end pin out of the instrument until it's about as long as your hand. That should be about a good height to start. The more you practice pulling this end pin out each time you practice, the more you'll get a feel for how long that should be for your height. Once you pull the end pin out, don't forget to tighten the screw again so it doesn't push back in. Think right tight to tighten the screw. Now when I set my cello down on the floor, it's the right height. The top bout of the instrument should rest against your chest and these tuning pegs should be right behind your left ear or right near your left ear. If I've got my cello backwards, then those tuning pegs up here at the top will be by your right ear. If you find that your, your cello is on your right side, tip it over and rest it against yourself so it's on the left side. When you pluck your cello, go ahead and make a thumbs down with your right hand. Rest your thumb against the black corner of this black, long black piece called the fingerboard and use your pointer finger to reach all the way across to the farthest and thinnest string on your cello. Again, you take your right hand, point a thumbs down, rest your thumb against the black corner and reach all the way across to your farthest string with your pointer finger. That farthest string on the end is your A string. Your D string cellos is your second string in. All right, friends, if you play violin, viola, or cello, get your instruments ready, because you are going to echo my notes. If you have violin or viola, hold your instrument guitar style in your elbow with the chin rest on top. We're gonna start on our A string. So go ahead and find your A string. I will go first, and then I want you guys to echo my sound. Here I go, my turn first. A, 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 your turn. Nice job. Feel free to say the note names out loud as you pluck them. That will help you memorize exactly which ones they are. Listen again, my turn. A, 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 your turn. Excellent, my turn. D, 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 your turn. Nice job, my turn. D, 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 your turn. Wonderful, my turn. Let's start mixing it up a little bit, so listen carefully. D, D, A, 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 your turn. My turn. A, A, D, 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 your turn. Nice job, you guys. The step, next step in our um, practice checklist, after setting up our instruments, is warming up with fancy fingers. Go ahead and look on our Google Classroom checklist to open up fancy fingers. And we're gonna play through number one and number two. I'm gonna switch over to my violin. 
All right, open up your fancy fingers and look at number one. Fancy fingers number one starts on D. Let's play it together. One, two, ready, go. D, D, A, A, D, D, A, A, D, A, D, A. Nice job. If that was too fast for you, that's okay. Feel free to pause the video and go back and play number one a little bit slower. Let's try number two. Here's fancy fingers number two. D, A, D, A, D, D, A, A, D, D, D. If you were confused about how to play fancy fingers, Feel free to re-watch parts of the part of this video that I just did, showing you exactly how to play it. Remember, we only played Fancy Fingers 1 and 2 one time just now, but your practice checklist says to play it through a couple times in a row to make sure you get every note correct. It doesn't matter how fast you play it right now, as long as you start at a pace that's comfortable for you you'll naturally start being able to find those notes faster. It'll happen automatically. Let's look at step three of our practice checklist. Step three says to play our songs from our music book. We circled a couple songs in our music book this week. The cool thing about our book is that the first 10 songs only use our two notes, A and D. Let's look at page four song number two. The page numbers in your method book are in the top corners of the book. And the song numbers are listed right next to each song. If you have a brand new book that keeps flopping closed on you, as they sometimes have a mind of their own, then all you need to do is fold back the book and just crease it back a couple times and lay it flat on your music stand. That should cause the book to stay open for you. Let's play song number two, open D. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. D, 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 rest. D, 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 rest. D, D, D. D, 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 rest. Nice job. Don't forget, that little squiggle is a rest, and we do not play or pluck any notes on a musical rest. Let's look at song number three. Remember, when you practice at home, don't just play each song one time. Play it through at least three times in a row to make sure you get every note. Because this is our practice video, I'm just gonna play through each song once with you. Put your eyes on song number three. Let's play open A. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. A, oops, oh man, I started on the wrong string. Let's try that again for Mr. Bennett's sake. Song number three. One, two, ready, go. A, 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 rest. A, 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 rest. A, 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 rest. It's okay to make mistakes in music. That's all part of the learning process. Just like I had made a mistake with number three, I just started the song again. Sometimes, you don't even have to start the whole song again. You can just pick up right where you left off or right where you missed that note. That's called good practicing. Let's look at song number four, Two's a Team. This one gets tricky because it switches between our D and A strings. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. D, 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 rest. A, 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 rest. D, D, A, A, D, 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 rest. Nice job.
job. Look at number five, at Pierrot's door. Remember, I'm just going through each of these one time with you really quick. If you're not quite ready to go this fast or to play all the way through each of these songs, that's okay. We're still practicing and we're still learning. <clears throat> Here's number five. One, two, ready, go. D, 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 A, D, rest. A, rest. D, D, A, A, D, A, D, rest. Nice work. If you have found that the songs on page four are becoming very easy for you and you're looking for more of a challenge, then you can go on to page five, starting with song number six, Jumping Jacks, and you can start playing the songs on page five as well. If you're only ready to play page four, then you can go ahead and pause this video. If you think you're ready for a challenge and you want to try page five with us, I'm going to go ahead and play through the songs on page five. Here we go. Song number six, Jumping Jacks. One, two, ready, go. D, 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 rest. A, 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 rest. D, D, A, A, D, 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 rest. Excellent job. Let's look at song number seven. Mix them up. We still see that little P-I-Z-Z -Z abbreviation at song number seven, which stands for our Italian word, pizzicato. That means we need to keep plucking. Here we go, number seven. One, two, ready, go. D, A, D, rest. A, D. A, rest, D, A, D, A, D, 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 rest. That one's tricky. You might need to pause the video and try number seven again. Let's look at number eight. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. D, D, rest, rest. A, A, rest, rest, D, rest, A, rest, D, A, D, rest. And finally, number nine. We'll learn about that special repeat sign at our next lesson. Here's number nine. One, two, ready, play, D, Rest, A, rest, A, A, D, rest, A, D, rest, rest, D, A, D, rest. Excellent job, friends. We followed through the first three steps of our practice checklist for at home. Remember, I want you to play your instruments at least four times every week. If you can do five or six or every day on seven days a week, that would be great because that means you're gonna learn your songs even faster. And when you come to our music lesson, you'll know them even better. If you have any questions or are confused about how to pluck or play your violin, viola, or cello, feel free to send me an email the email is listed under our resources section of our Google Classroom. Thank you friends and I hope you have a great rest of your week.